Good evening, boxing fans. This is Sean with BoxingSocials.com. Today we have Mr. Boxing Today, Joe Habib, and Carcina. How y'all doing, fellas? I'm doing great. I'm good. All right, great, great. <laughs> fellas, let's talk about the big announcement today. Between HBO and Showtime, Mr. Aram is taking Manny Pacquiao over to Showtime. Why? And how much do you think HBO is going to suffer? We'll start with Joe, Mr. Boxing, and we'll let Carcino wrap it up. Go ahead, Joe. Well, we talked about it a little bit yesterday, how HBO is trying to have a stronghold on all these fights, and they're playing God, telling us what fights we're going to get and what fights we're not going to get, and they're blaming the promoters, the promoters are blaming them. So we needed another player, and I'm glad that Bob Arum did this. It makes it more interesting because now – HBO is going to have some competition, so now they're not going to be able to put on these fights that we don't want to see. They're going to buy the fights that we want to see now. So this puts a little bit of pressure on HBO. So I think this was a good thing. It's very similar to what Don King did with Tyson, took Tyson away from them. They have, they have a way of just saying, you know, we're going to play the game my way, or I'm taking the ball and I'm going home. Well, guess what? Bob Aram took the ball this time, and he moved and he, moved and he jumped ship. So I think this was a good move. I like it. Now I think CBS is in the is in the mix now too, so that's another another good um, thing to look at in terms of this whole situation. So I'm 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 happy about it. I like it because I was getting fed up with HBO. I mean they buy these fights like uh, Dawson uh, Tauber too. Who wanted to see that? I didn't want to see it, you know. And then and they won't buy a Klitschko fight. So I mean, this is what we needed right now. We need a little bit of spice in the game, and uh, Bob Aaron did that by taking his fight to Showtime. So I think it was cool. Well, Joe, do you think um, some of this had to do with the big argument all last year about um, Oscar De La Hoya eating up most of HBO's budget and it seemed like they favored Oscar's uh, promotion company over everybody else? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Oscar's always been the darling over there. We know that. And, you know, they, they've had a great relationship with Oscar, and I'm not knocking Oscar, but, I mean, let's just be, let's be honest. It's obvious. Everyone knows it. You know, it's it's not a secret. So Bob Arum's got the, the cash cow right now, Manny Pacquiao. Now you can argue that Floyd Mayweather's the cash cow, but Floyd Mayweather's not fighting right now. Manny Pacquiao is. So they need to show Bob Arum a little bit more respect. They need to show all these promoters a little bit more respect. They they can't play favorites. They can't just single out Oscar De La Hoya and buy all Oscar De La Hoya's fights because right. Bob Arum's got some good fights out there. You you, you can't be a hypocrite. You, that, right. Why do you think Bob Arum's just just matching his fighters against his his fighters? Because that's the only way they they can sell these fights to HBO too. Correct. You know, it seems like it seems like Oscar could could put any any fight out there and HBO is going to suck it up. So, and you know what? And a lot of people a lot of people saw it coming in uh, 2010 because if you notice. A lot of times, if Bob Aaron could have done it every time, he would have his own pay-per-views. He really didn't even want to deal with HBO. Yep. Yeah. All right, what about you, Mr. Boston, today? I think it's a good thing, man. I'm with the old and with the new. Uh, first of all, just going a little different direction with this, I like how Showtime does its fights with the uh, Fight Camp 360. I think that shows way better in 24-7. Right. Because it's more in depth. It's just more raw. I like the uh, negotiating between the promoters and the networks. I like looking at that. HBO and their 24-7 and their package. It's like they're pimps, man. That's what they are, man. They're, they're pimping. And uh, Bob Arum, you know, he would take his bag and go to Showtime. They're still going to make their money. Uh, Showtime hasn't really been, had any big pay-per-view events. If you want to be real, remember when uh, HBO and Showtime did the split? With Lennox Lewis and Tyson, that's yeah. the last time, to me, in my eyes, full time has been relevant when it comes to pay-per-view. So to me, it's a good move. Right. Okay, 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 great, great. And Carcino, let's, let's hear your thought on that. And also, Carcino, I'm hearing through the grapevine that Berto might be next to jump ship, and there was another person, I can't remember the third person were, but they, they seem to think that a lot of people are going to follow ship after this. Give us your thoughts. I don't think Berto's going anywhere because uh, Al Heyman has a strong relationship with HBO. And only way Berto leaves it, Showtime pays them a lot of money. He works with Showtime as well. Al, Al's his advisor, but Showtime is like the little brother and HBO's the big brother. But this Manny Pacquiao deal is significant because that was the only 
wrench that Top Rank had with HBO that HBO was really interested in. They weren't really interested in Miguel Cotto unless Miguel Cotto was going to fight a certain, a certain fighter that they wanted to see fight. They wanted Cotto to fight Sergio Martinez. He came with uh, Vanes Monterosen, and they turned it down, and Sergio Martinez is fighting a guy who hasn't fought in two years, and he hasn't proved on his own that he can bring in a lot of viewers or a lot of homes where Cotto has. So I understand Bob Aaron's point. But this has been going on since the new administration took over about ten years ago when uh, Seth Abraham and Lou DiBella left HBO and went into promotion. The programming changed. And that's why you saw Top Rank having to put on their own shows and putting Kodo on when the HBO wanted Kodo on HBO. Bob was, nah, I want to get my money on pay-per-view and put Kodo on pay-per-view. And now they wanted him, they was like, okay, well, we'll do an HBO, but we'll do an HBO slash pay-per-view. But HBO don't want anything really to do with pay-per-view, only like big mega fights. Because they lost their shirt back in 2008 and Floyd retired. There was so many pay-per-views that year. Right. And we thought they were great, but it was killing the sport because they weren't turning up the numbers that they thought they were going to give. Even though we got some good fights in 2008, the numbers were all over. They spent so much money at year. Right. But those type of things, like Kodo Malinaji was put on pay-per-view with no HBO back, and Top Rank was throwing their own shows because they were spitting in the face of HBO saying, if you're not going to pay us the money, we'll put on our own shows. And we'll get the money that way, and then you don't get a piece of it. Because you won't be able to re-air it if it's a top rank one, and they weren't going to buy it. So this is HBO kind of giving it back to Bob Aaron. Remember when you stuck us in the early 2000s, and you were getting big-headed, and you were going ahead and doing your thing because we gave those dates to Oscar to give them the chance. And now we want to split it, and we're getting firm with Golden Boy and saying, hey, you guys got to get in results. And Golden Boy's like, okay, we got to step it up and we can't put any more of these fake fights out here. No one wants to see. we got to make these dates or we're going to lose them. Now you're doing a power position where you want everything right now. That's pretty much what's going on is he's doing a power position, I believe, to try to put himself in position because he really wants all the control of those dates. But top rank, we're getting those dates. When they have made Pacquiao, they get made. They get September. They get in April. They were getting all those dates that they really wanted, and Golden Boy had to, like, work around them. But now, this is going to open up Golden Boy to, uh, to negotiate with this little thing they have. With their, they're in the boxing, promoting this little group they have, the community with the small promoters. They're going to be working with them more. So we get to see what's going to happen. Um, HBO, I don't know how much of an effect is going to have him in the long haul. I want to know how this affect Mayweather Pacquiao fight. This definitely will have a huge effect on it as far as who's going to be able to distribute it because Floyd Mayweather has a contract with HBO pay-per-view. They have to pay him $15 million minimum for any fight he does. So he has a contract with them. So there is no way he goes anywhere. Um, I just don't know where they're going to go for this because Manny Pacquiao didn't have a contract with HBO pay-per-view at all. That's why he was able to be moved. And the reason why the money scale was really different between the two. But CBS is in on this deal, too. Now, I don't know what kind of cut they get with Showtime, but it's a CBS Showtime pay-per-view type deal. So I don't know how CBS even plays a part in this, but... It's going to be interesting to see future fights now down the road. Maybe it'll open up better lines of communications, but right now everything is just so wide open right now. Parsina, do, so do you think that uh, HBO might try to do a power move and try to bring in a little bit more money, say, like a network like TNT? Or do you think they're going to try to remain on, on their own? Yeah, HBO's got the money. They have all the money in the world to play with. Well, they, they, got problem down that they don't have to pay Pacquiao. Well, they really didn't have to pay Pacquiao a lot of money. No, Floyd Mayweather is the guy that gets a lot of money because they had to pay, pay him. That's when he retired in 2008. It was really a power play with Golden Boy Promotions. They weren't trying to cut him in on certain money. He came back and got a way bigger deal after 2008. They, they weren't going through that again. And when he came back, he got a guaranteed $15 million up front for every fight he fights. It's sort of like the deal Felix Trinidad did with Don King. He took off a year and 
Triple had to sit out his contract, but Don King knew he had the bargaining chip with Oscar De La Hoya. He paid Trinidad and guaranteed him $10 million every fight. That's what really screwed up the fight with him and Bernard doing a rematch because Trinidad had that guarantee. And no matter what fight he does, he has to get paid $10 million. And Don King had to do it and honored his contract. So and he's not willing to restructure Trinidad. Was. That's why you really didn't see him in hardly any fights. <laughs> For like about six, seven years, I was like, I just can't afford to pay him and pay Bernard. We're not going to make any money off of it. Right. But not bad. HBO, <laughs> HBO is on its way right now to, this is like a whole new beginning for them. This is a whole new start. Just saying, okay, Oscar, you got the whole show. Top rank is really pulling out. What are you going to bring to the table? And so, so far, like Golden Boy is elated that they got all these dates to play with. Right. And they got enough promoters. They feel they have enough promoters and enough fighters where they're going to have good fights that people won't miss top rank not being in the, in the game, which I disagree. I would like to see some of the top rank fighters fight some of the Golden Boy fighters. They have ranked guys in the top four and top five that need to be fighting each other. Who can we say is the best? Because this guy fought another guy from top what rank. About he didn't fight the guy from him. Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Bach. What about Ali? <laughs> You think a league would be good? A uh, league? Yeah. Yeah, well, they kind of doing that now. They got, like, this association that they're doing with the Promoters Association to try to stop people from, like, poaching off the smaller promoters that the uh, Golden Boys signed on with where they're going to try to do local shows. And it's pretty much in New York, like what the Bella does. He puts on real good cards up there on the East Coast, too. And everybody's talking about those fights, but they're signed on with these local small promoters still. But it's really like them being the mega power, and everybody's got to suckle off them, and they're going to, like, break them off of a little bit of money right. and that they weren't getting. For them, like, going through these, finding the fighters, developing the fighters, they got to actually get something back, you know, instead of them just losing everything. And then they got to find another fighter to build up. Right. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, fellas, man, I appreciate all your, your input today. Once again, we got Carcino, Joe, and Mr. Boxing today. Till next time, fellas.